So what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. As you saw in the thumbnail, we got a Ford F-150 today. Now I am very excited. Like seriously, this is like the best truck for towing. I mean, Ford is like, they take this seriously. Like they don't play around. Like all the features that they offer, all the axle ratios, all the engines, like they don't play with this segment when it comes down to towing. And today I got a trailer. We're going to see what this bad boy can do. Now this is gonna be a 2017. It's gonna have the 3.5 liter EcoBoost 10 speed transmission. Let's get into it. And you heard me correct. This is gonna be a V6 turbocharged. They've had this since 2011. It's been updated since then. This is good for, you ready for this? 375 horsepower, 470 pound feet of torque. That's almost 500 pound feet of torque guys. I cannot wait to get this thing out on the road with my trailer. 10 speed transmission. This is a good day, I'm just saying. I mean, big thanks to Fitzgerald for allowing me to look at this truck. If you do not know, they have a huge selection of everything. Whatever you are looking for, they got it. Before we get started, let's go ahead and check out the hardware. This does have a class four receiving hitch. Now this hitch was on the truck when I picked it up. We can't use this because this actually is only a two inch ball. I need a two and five sixteenth. And even if it was a two and five sixteenth, it's only rated for like 5,000 pounds. So I will destroy this little thing if I used it. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna stash it away in the truck. And we're gonna go ahead and, oh wow. Someone must have lived on a farm with this truck. There's corn in there. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and hook my hitch on here. I have a Reese hitch, 14,000 pound GBWR, big numbers, and it's gonna be able to handle that trailer. The most important thing we had to do today is we gotta check to make sure that this truck can tow this trailer. So what I always do, and I always recommend, is you go online, you do some research, and figure out what the payload is of the truck. This will give you a basis point, but more importantly you need to go to a truck and get these numbers so if you're in the market for a trailer always go to a dealership maybe grab three or four keys figure out a basis point for the payload for the trucks because depending on the options and features that you get that's going to reduce this yellow sticker here but let's take a look at this sticker first and then i'll show you guys the payload so this truck has a front gross axle weight rating of 3450 pounds the rear is going to be 3800 pounds this truck also has a gross vehicle weight of 7,000 pounds. Now, all in, this truck's going to have 1,761 pounds of payload. That's a big number for a half-ton truck. So, if you're in the market, this is a Lariat, I believe. Yeah, this is a Lariat. I thought it was a King Ranch because of the two-tone. But you can get two-tone with Lariat, too. I forget about that. But if you're in the market, that's really the number you want in terms of towing these types of trailers because this is going to probably put eight to nine hundred pounds of tongue weight so you still have good amount of capacity for your passengers and your cargo once you put that weight of the trailer onto that hitch now in order to find out the towing capacity we're going to go online really quickly i'm going to show you how i got these numbers but ford does give you a wheelbase on here too they also give you an axle now l9 stands for 355 axle so i want to show you guys how i got here and that way you guys can get an idea of how to look for these things on your own. Now, if you type in 2017 Ford Towing Guide, you should get this as the first option. Now, I hit Control Find or Command F, depends on whatever computer you have. I typed in the code L9 to find where it was at on the brochure online. So it does take you to the truck's axle ratios. And at L9 is right under 355. This is a section for the uh, towing guide. Now, as you guys saw, this truck was a super crew. It had four wheel drive. And as you guys just saw, it has a 145 wheel base, 355 axle. So we'll just scroll down here. We'll have to find the engine. It's that 3.5 liter GTDI V6, 355 axle. They give you three numbers here. I'm gonna go with this number because this 11,100 has an asterisk next to it of a nine. That nine is saying it's a limited model only. And then the other one, 11.5, is requiring a max trailer tow package. And as I said, I don't know if the truck has that, so we're just gonna assume this is the towing capacity for the truck for now. But other than that, this should be pretty good. You have to look through some of this information. I do see here, something I wanted to point out really quickly was 
maximum loaded trailer weight requires weight distribution hitch when you see an asterisk next to it so anything in here that you see like a number two with you have to use a weight distribution hitch so now that you guys see the towing capacity the next thing you want to check is your tires you want to make sure your tires have enough capacity if you're buying a used truck sometimes dealers not all dealerships good dealerships put good tires on their trucks but sometimes you might get that one-off dealer who puts cheap tires on and they'll give you a tire that's probably not rated for towing so we're going to check the numbers on this tire here and i'll show you where to find it at so typically it's in smaller print on the edge right here so this is it right here so it's 2756 pounds per tire so we definitely have enough capacity for this truck out back this does use a leaf spring suspension and i mean ford has a lot of tow prep packages things like that so you want to do your research to make sure you get the right truck set up now let's go inside the interior so we can look at a few things too all right so one thing i'm excited to use today is this trailer backup i've never used it before so i'm gonna have to do some research and figure out how to use it maybe we'll stumble through it together how about that that might be a little bit more fun but one thing i like also is the fact that ford gives you a lot of features inside of here like trailer setup trailer light status towing information towing status i mean there's a lot of cool things in here so we'll go through some of these things and um, like i said we're gonna check some of these features out too so let's go ahead and get the trailer hooked up i'm going to measure as i always do but the very first thing i'm going to have to do is get my hitch on and then like i said you guys can see that and then we will measure to see where the truck is sitting now to see how much it squats like i enjoy doing these things guys i if this was a job i would do it like this is so much fun to me like even when I was a kid, I used to, Never mind. I'll, that's another video. I don't want to take too much time on this video. One thing worth mentioning too is make sure that the hitches that you're toying with are factory because your factory hitches are going to be rated for whatever the truck's rated for. Now, I think this is also a factory hitch. I know it is, but I just wanted to show where you could find the information at for the hitch too. It's typically on the underbody of the receiver hitch. This is a class four two inch hitch and like i said this is rated for 14,000 pounds and i have a locking pin here for the receiver and let's go ahead and get this thing going all right so here we go let me just back up gotta go forward first and let's see what it looks like so they do give you the lines this does not have the 360 cameras you can zoom in however makes life a little bit easier yeah this is actually a really clear camera it's not the most clear I've seen right there so I'm right under the ball I'm gonna go ahead and measure to give us an idea of how much a truck's gonna drop but yeah this should be a good test for squat and then, like I said, we're going to take it on the road today, too. Because we do have a trailer break. Right there. All right. So let's go ahead and measure. I'm going to use 40 inches, if you want. To be 100% accurate, it's 40 and 1 8 All right guys, so I've already checked to make sure my pin lock is locked in the receiver. All of my pins are checked here for the hitch. I've already locked the coupler onto the ball. I crossed my chains and they're connected. Breakaway switches there, seven pin connector. Whenever I hook up my trailer, I always have chocks back in the back just to make sure nothing bad happens. So you wanna do these types of things and overall i mean the truck is is squatting but it's not bad it's definitely better than that chevy silverado i did that truck was squatting like bad 
but yeah this one is about normal I mean again I've said it many times airbags weight distribution hitch you're gonna need those things for these half ton trucks when you look at heavy duty trucks one less thing you have to worry about so let me go ahead and measure see how much it dropped down we're about 40 inches so I'm thinking probably about two and a half three inches all right so we are hold on here let me get it nice and straight there we go so we are at third that's basically three inches guys let's see here change trailer selected let's see so I chose this trailer um, as far as this trailer backup goes there's actually like a uh, checklist that you have to do you have to measure certain distances it's a little bit more complicated so we may not use it today I feel so bad but change trailer setting you can change the trailer settings you can add blind spot so for your car is a width less than nine feet and length less than 33 feet yes and enter trailer length the trailer is it's probably about because my tongue is 60 inches so let's just put 33 feet right now and that should be good okay so that's set up and all we have to do now is just add the gain for the uh, trailer I think five and a half might be too much we're gonna go down to about three that should be good for my trailer all right so let me go ahead and get my chocks put in I'm just gonna check the lights too and then we're gonna go ahead and head on the road all right guys so tow haul mode is actually on the side of the shifter so it's gonna pop up in there tow haul mode pops up right in there hopefully you guys can see everything now the last time I did a video I did it with the camera on the windshield I want you guys to give me your honest opinion of which way you like it better so I'm gonna try it this time and then in the comment section if you prefer me to have the camera on the windshield facing this way and I can talk or if you like this view better just let me know okay so as far as the mirrors go hopefully you guys can see everything here the mirrors are really good I like to see those convex mirrors already in here they do actually do help with giving you a better view of what's going on and already I can just tell this truck has a soft suspension like oof I, this truck's gonna sway I can already tell so we're gonna have to be careful um, Ford does have tow prep packages I tried to pull a window sticker for this if I have a chance I'll try again I would always recommend if you do plan on towing a trailer if you're just buying a truck off the lot make sure it has that tow prep package because it does help with the rear suspension in some cases with four trucks and you really want to have the highest axle ratio that you can get to I mean I could already tell like this truck it's just already like swaying it could be the tires there's a lot of things that you have to consider when you're gonna hop on the road and start towing a trailer and oof, yeah this this is not as comfortable as that Chevy truck was already and we haven't even gotten up to speed yet oh man let me just check the trailer brake one last time okay there's a lot of uh braking from the trailer I mean this truck power is adequate for sure you don't need much more than this I mean this is almost heavy duty kind of power with 470 pound feet of torque yeah the power this is better than the 5.3 Chevy oh yeah this this is nice it is not even struggling but man this truck is swaying oh no guys oh no this is swaying to the left and right wow yeah this is not oh wow okay so we're not gonna go far today I, I'm sorry this is a little bit more wow hold on maybe I'm being a big baby let me see if I'm being a baby here yeah I don't feel comfortable this this bad boy is swaying it, it could be even something wrong with this truck guys I don't want to blame the truck 
no way oh my gosh yeah it's swaying really bad and I know that this truck has like a sway control but I think it's probably the tires too yeah it's, it's swaying a little bit more than I like all right here's an acceleration yeah this truck has good good acceleration like this truck doesn't even feel like it's towing a trailer guys like it's really strong I mean despite the handling it has the power so all you gotta do is just figure out sway bars weight distribution hitch maybe even some airbags this truck is definitely powerful really good power like that v6 is outdoing the 5.3 v8 from Chevy for sure I mean even the 5.7 from Toyota was pretty good but I think this engine is trumping that easily I mean this thing has good good acceleration even loaded up I mean this truck only has 19,500 miles on it so these are probably the original tires that came on this truck but I mean the overall balance with the suspension and the tires it's 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 very unsettling like I'm not even joking like it's bad like this is the worst experience I've ever had so far and don't get me wrong I'm not picking on Ford because I have not tested a half ton Ram yet so Ram is not out of the woods because they have a five link coil suspension and that truck might perform worse than this one so I'm not uh, even saying that Ram's going to outdo this this is just not good I mean that Toyota Tundra did a really good job I mean all things considered I mean it had sway I could get on the highway and stay on I wouldn't even stay on the highway with this truck the Chevy truck did the best so far I mean that Silverado and I'm talking about the Trill Boss with the two inch lift that truck killed it like I was like in control the entire time but yeah like even when you hit the brakes the truck goes to the left you can feel the trailer pushing the back of the truck to the left like it, uh, that's no way this isn't me and I'm not picking on Ford I'm just being honest here this is just not a good towing experience for me and when I have a chance Maybe I'll find a viewer that has a truck that maybe has all the right features on it to tow. But this truck's just not it. But this truck does have a 10,000 pound towing capacity. I would strongly recommend staying closer to five or 6,000 pounds depending on what truck you get. One thing to keep in mind with these mirrors is you see how like they're not very wide. So when you take a turn, like especially when you're taking a turn, like a right turn, you almost have to move your head up like this to kind of keep looking inside the mirror. But um, I would probably invest in some tow mirrors or maybe just even get like a convex mirror on the side of it. That way you can kind of see what's going on because you have to move to kind of look in, in these mirrors. So they're not great for towing in my opinion, but that you can see around the trailer if you're going straight. But when you make a turn, if you want to check your tires, make sure you don't hit the curb, you can't really see it like so like right now. As I'm turning, I kind of have to go like that to see what's going on. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, show you guys how the truck is sitting right now. And then that way you guys can have a better idea if the truck leveled out a little bit more. I wanted to say one thing really quickly. So this 10 speed transmission guys, it shifts effortlessly. It keeps the RPMs low. Um, because I didn't tow long, I didn't have a chance really to go over it, but I was just kind of trying to stay safe but responds pretty quick, holds the gears really good, um, and you don't feel it shift. I mean, like this truck has 20K on it, it's three years old. The truck handles like it was brand new, basically. And transmission is right now, like it's in 10th gear. I'm at, what, just under 1,500 RPMs, about 1,400. And like I said, just downshift. I don't feel any of the shifts, it's so effortlessly. And that's what's good about these 10 speed transmissions is like you just don't feel those shifts and i mean they just did a really good job with this transmission i mean three-year-old truck it's doing really good all right guys so what do you think about that i felt like this truck did not do that great and when it comes down to handling this weight this is about this is not a lot of tongue weight this truck has a big payload number you can easily go up to about 1100 pounds a pan on this truck and this truck will handle that but the way this truck is somehow set up it does not have a tow prep package i can almost tell you that much and as far as power goes it has ample power this truck is a beast 
power is not a problem. It's just the back is really, really soft. I mean, let me hold on. Let's just. I never checked to see if it had sways. Any sway bars? Um, I don't. Hold on. I do not see any sway bars on this truck. That's probably exactly what happened. Wow. That's what it was. This truck has no sway bars. So I checked out a forum online. It's for the F-150s, F-150forum.com. And it looks like guys are actually adding sway bars in the rear. I went to a Ford dealership today and confirmed that none of the 2020s that they had left on their lot had sway bars. So I guess that's something that Ford doesn't do from the factory. So it looks like people are using the Hellwig uh, sway bar in the rear. And I guess 5100 is the model that they're using. And I guess this doesn't stiffen it up too much, so it kind of does give you a good balance between comfort and stability. So this might be one you want to check out. So just make sure you do your research, and hopefully this might help someone out there that may have this truck. All right, so I was going to set up this Pro Trailer backup system. Unfortunately, there's some directions, and there's, I guess, a sticker you need to have so you can get all the measurements for A, B, C, and D. And then there has to be a sticker you have to put on that way it can identify it. I don't have that stuff, nor do I have that time. I have a lot more things to do today. Maybe I can get a viewer who has a Ford truck to help me or show me how to set everything up. And that way I can give you guys some good footage on how to do that. But other than that, I don't need a backup assistance. I can back up a trailer and I'm going to demonstrate it right now. So let's go ahead and cut it. So there's not a lot of space. You can see the curb is about right there. But if you just take your time, you know, you're never in a rush when you're towing a trailer. Anytime someone rushes me, I will wait. I say, get the heck away from me. Go around me. I will stop what I'm doing. I will move forward and let them go because no one's rushing me or anything like that. I'm taking my time and I will do everything I can to move a little bit quicker, but I'm not going to but I'm not going to jeopardize safety of myself or people around me because people are rushing me. So just keep that in mind. But like I said, this is pretty easy stuff. You know, I did extend my tongue. i will show it to you here. So I can do a pretty good 90 degree turn. But like I said, it's not hard to do. You just have to take your time. You know, you don't rush it. Don't cut so hard. Just learn how to like kind of feel the trailer with the steering wheel. I, it's kind of hard to explain, but like even like right now I can cut it. I can put it over here on the side and then you kind of let the trailer just do its thing. I mean, I haven't been towing trailers that long, but I just know that you can't rush. That's the only thing that people probably make a mistake doing is they get into this, they're in a rush to go somewhere and things happen. So just take your time, relax, and I'm just gonna leave it right here so you guys can see how I did. See, so you don't need a trailer backup. I mean, that's pretty wide here. I can just go forward right now and just straighten it up a little bit, and there you go. So, I hope that was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you soon.